All right, welcome back to the Whiskey Bible. I got a fun one for you. Let's ask the age old question, is Blanton's worth hunting for? Now, this is one of these bottles that it's it's been coming across uh, pretty frequently here in SoCal and um, everyone's favorite scapegoat, everyone's favorite bottle to make fun of and people people tend to go a little nuts for, for this horsey horsey top grenade so uh, let's let's get into it and find out is Blanton's worth hunting for now right off the rip uh, Mashville number two from Buffalo Trace under the Sazerac brand this one is Rick House number 69 nice uh, 93 proof and let's be honest I it's really easy to hate this bottle it's it's terribly hard to find in most places it's one of those bottles that everyone creams their pants over. And is it worth is it worth secondary at $120? $110? I don't know. Is it worth $65? If you can get it for retail, which is now the new retail, unfortunately. It's one of those that that, you know, I we all make fun of. We all love hating it. It's it's just one of those bottles and I myself at what point do you stop hunting for the horsey? At what point is it not worth it? It just it it's good, it smells good. If I were to put this in a blind with Hancock's, Elmer T. Lee, Rock Hill Farms, um, you could throw Ancient Age in there if you're an asshole, but you know, it's, it's your caramel, you got your vanilla, you got your really basic, just classic bourbon flavor profile notes. And it's not anything, it's not anything delicate, uh, enticing on the nose, it doesn't jump out at you, it doesn't grab your, grab your, your sense of smell and, and wrap it up for a hug, it, it doesn't do any of that. I want to love it. I, I really, I really do. Still, it's classic bourbon, creamy vanilla thing going on. You got your deep, rich caramel. You got some honey on the back end. It's got a medium, medium finish. It doesn't go on for too long. It's not anything crazy. You know, it just, it doesn't, it's also not as drying either on the palate. You, it's, it's not the best bottle on your shelf. If it is, you need to go drink and buy more whiskey. I mean, that's, that's just, how it's gonna be. It's also one of those bottles that, you know, I'm not mad at it. No no one's mad at Blanton's, you know what I mean? You drink it, it's fine, it's good. It's If it was more readily available, I would want this as an everyday sipper. I, I would I would reach for this, wouldn't even grab a Glen, throw it in the rocks glass, you'd come home from work, you just want like a decent pour of whiskey, just grab the shit. Just grab it, pour it, drink it. You can mix it. You can make a cocktail with it. It's not anything that I would, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saving this. This is not one of the bottles that I'm babying. I'm not worried about running out of it. You know, I can go grab another one in, in here in SoCal in the market. There's so many of them out there. Uh, if you live, if you live somewhere where you cannot get this, by all means, go hunt for it. Just don't overpay for it. People that pay over retail for this bottle are crazy. It doesn't make any sense. No one's judging you, but it just doesn't make any sense. Why you, why you would, you know? Everybody's favorite tater grenade. Not, it's not the best. It's it's not gonna be uh, a mind-blowing whiskey experience. There are a hundred other bottles that I would pick up over this any day of the week, and it's that's just how it is, you know. This one had to be done. This video had to be done. It, it, it's how it's gonna go. Um, but give us a like, drop a comment, subscribe, hit that red button, and um, we'll see you next time.